Hi, I am Mohan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, the development of lateral surface of solids. Uh, this question is choose from a VTU model question paper. Uh, the problem is a hexagonal prism of base at 25 mm and height 50 mm is resting on HP on its base such that one of its base edges is parallel to VP. Uh, the prism is cut in this position as shown in uh, the front view of the figure and draw the development of lateral surface of prism. Okay, uh, in order to do the solution, uh, the data required or the type of solid. Okay, here the type of solid is hexagonal prism. Uh, remember for prism, uh, when we cut and unfold it, we are going to see the rectangular faces. Uh, in order to construct the top view, we need the resting condition. The resting condition is one of the base edges parallel to VP. Okay, now go to solid edge. Uh, then we have to do the sheet setup. Uh, we have to select a four sheet. Okay, first I'm going to construct the top view on the front view. Uh, you can observe here the front view looks like a rectangle. And this is hexagonal prism. The resting condition is uh, one of the base edges parallel to VP. First I'll go to line command, choose uh, thickness as 0.13 mm. Okay, draw an uh, horizontal line, XY line. Okay, I'm going to name that line. Okay, this is uh, capital X. This is capital Y. Okay, next I'll go to macros option in order to construct uh, the hexagon. Uh, if that macros option is not working, you can construct the hexagon by using that line command also. Uh, go to line command. Uh, here, uh, the dimension of hexagon prism is 25 mm. Okay, I'll start from here. Uh, the length is 25, enter angle is 60, enter length is 25, enter angle is 60 into 2, enter length is 25, enter angle is 60 into 3, enter angle is 25, enter angle is 60 into 4, enter angle length is 25, enter angle is 60 into 5, enter length is 25, enter angle is 60 into 6, enter. And now this is the hexagon prism. Uh, the resting condition is one of the base edges parallel to VP. Uh, therefore, go to select the option. Select this uh, hexagon. Uh, go to move option. Okay, you have to place like this. See, one of the base edges parallel to that XY line. Okay, now uh, we need that uh, center point that is uh, that axis O1. Draw the diagonals. Okay, the intersection point is O1 point. Okay, now go to text option. I'm going to name this point as A in bracket A1. Okay, this is B in bracket B1. Okay, this is C in bracket C1. Okay, this is D in bracket D1. Okay, this is E in bracket E1. Okay, this is F in bracket F1. Okay, this is O in bracket O1. Okay, now draw the projection lines from this corner to XY line. From B to XY line. From C to XY line. From D to XY line. From O also we have to draw an XY line. There should be a straight line. And now we have to draw the uh, front view. With the front view image is given in the question. The total height is 50 mm. Go to line command, the height is 50, enter. Construct the rectangle. For axis line, choose long dash, short dash line. Okay, this length is 50 mm. Okay, now uh, 
Now you can see they have given the cut section uh, image. Okay, we have to uh, construct like this only. Uh, first, I'm going to draw one line that is uh, that is 25 mm from the top surface. We go to line command, draw one line. Okay, it should be a continuous line. Okay, the distance between this line and this top surface. Should be 25. Okay, next we have one line which makes an angle that is from this corner to I'm going to trim, trim this line, trim this line. Go to line command. See from the end point of this line, we have to draw one line like this as per the given image. This is also continuous line only. Again, from this left corner, we have to draw one line like this. Okay. In that image, they have not given angles. Therefore, from this left bottom corner to the top right corner, we have to draw the line. Okay. Now, this is the cut section. I'm going to highlight this cut section by using thick line. Okay. Before that, I'm going to name. Okay. This is A. This is A1. This is B in bracket F. So this is B1 dash in bracket F1 dash. Okay. This is also dash only. This is A1 dash. This is A1 dash. Okay. This is uh, B dash and uh, F dash. Similarly, this is C dash in bracket E dash. C1 dash in bracket E1 dash. D dash. This is D1 uh, dash. And now go to line command, change the thickness to 0 0.50. Only highlight that uh, cut section. Okay, this is the cut section. For this, we have to draw the development. Okay, first, uh, let us draw the development uh, for a hexagonal prism uh, without considering the cut section. Uh, for hexagonal prism, the development looks like uh, the rectangular boxes. First, I'm going to construct a rectangular box. The height is 50 mm, enter. The base side is uh, 25, enter. Okay, first I'm going to construct one rectangular box. Okay, uh, I'm going to change the thickness of this. Make it be 0 0.13 mm only. Now I'm going to mirror this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now I'm going to name. Okay, uh, between A and A1, we have uh, 1. Between B and B1, we have uh, 2. Between C and C1, we have uh, 3. Uh, between D and D1, we have 4. Between E and E1, we have uh, 5. Between F and F1, we have uh, 6. Okay, again, in this line also, we have intersection point. Okay, I'm going to name this between A and A1. Okay, I'm going to name this as uh, 7. Between B and B1, 8. Between C and C1, 9. Between D and D1, 10. Between E and E1, 11. Between F and F1, 12. Okay, don't get confused. Here we have uh, 
12 intersection points shall start from 1. Okay, this is point 1, no? that 1 is there between A and A1. Okay, before that, I'm going to name here also. Okay, this is A, this is A1, this is B, this is B1, this is C, this is C1, this is D, D1, E, E1, F, F1, this is again A, A1. Okay, from point one, point one is there between A and A1. Therefore, I'm going to draw one line till A1. Okay, thickness, let it be 0 0.13. And now I'm going to name this point. This is 1. This is also 1. Okay, next I'll start from 2. 2 is there between B, B1 and F, F1. We draw till F, F1. Okay, here 2. This is also 2. Next, 3 is there between C and D. Draw till E. Okay, the single section point is 3. This is also 3. Next, 4 and D is intersecting. Therefore, I'm going to name this point as 4. Next, 5. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, this is... Okay, between B and B1, we have 2. Between F1 and F1, we have point 0.6. This is 6. Okay, between C and C1, we have 3. Uh, between uh, E and E1, we have uh, 5. Now, the top portion is done. Uh, I'm going to join the top portion by using a visible line. I nodded toward the confusion. I'll start from 1. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5, 5, 2, 6, 6, 2, 1 again. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom portion. Uh, I'll start from uh, 7. 7 is there on the line of A, A1. Okay, I'm going to name this point as uh, 7. Okay, next 8. Uh, 8 is between B and F. Okay. Till B and uh, F. Okay. B and B1 is point number 8. F and F1 is point number 12. Next, 9 and 11 is there between C and E. Okay. From that point, we have to draw the line. Okay. Between C and C1, we have point number 9. Between E and E1, we have point number 11. Okay. Point 10 is between D and D1. Uh, the line is already drawn. I'm going to name that point as 10. And now I'm going to join all the points by using visible line. I'll start from 7. 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to again, 11 point, then join this. Okay, we have to join this also, 2 to 8, 9 to 3. 10 to 4, 11 to 5, 12 to 6. Okay. This is the development of cut section of this portion. Thank you.